Hi guys, I'm Michelle. Welcome to today's class. Today's class is about gratitude, finding it, trying to flow through it within each pose and maybe throughout the rest of today. So if you're ready, we're going to start in an easy cross leg at the back of your mat or any other comfortable seat. And once you get there, just close down your eyes and bring your awareness to your breath, letting the breath effortlessly flow in and out of the body. And then we'll begin to control the breath with our ujjayi breathing. Breathing in and out of our nose, creating audible sounds between our ears and off the mat and doing our best throughout the practice to even out the in-breaths and out-breaths. As you inhale, feel your spine lengthen. And as you exhale, feel the sit bones ground and get a little taller. Feel the crown of the head floating skyward. Just using this time to settle in, to connect to calmness, allowing the mind to arrive as the body already has. Bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand on top of it. And take a moment and think about a person, a place, or an experience, or an animal where you feel extremely grateful for. And then set an intention around that gratitude. And as we flow through our practice today, maybe moving in and out of some challenging sequences or postures, can you bring yourself back to that place of gratitude and allow yourself to settle in and reconnect to the breath? Did that one come and get a peanut? When you're ready, we're just gonna roll over into child's pose bringing our toes together to touch and sitting our hips to our heels and resting our arms out either in front of us or alongside the body. Notice how your back feels and if you do feel any tightness or soreness, can you guide your breath there and start to release that tension on the exhale as we release tension from our face and jaw, head, neck, and shoulders. We'll start to deepen our breath and activate this pose. Stretch the fingertips out a little further. Feel your arm bones lifting. Maybe even the heels of your hands lift, hollowing out the armpit. And then you'll lift up your gaze and walk your hands over to the right, creating this really big stretch on the left side of the body. Just like you were, as if you were waking up for the first time and reaching for the sky and breathing into every cell in the body, rejuvenating, bringing energy, one more deep breath in. Exhale very slowly all the way to the bottom where there is no more breath in your lungs. Hollow out and scoop your belly in. And then inhale, lifting up the torso and walking it over to the other side. Walk out as far as you can. If you want to reach a little more at the end of this pose, go for it. Keep 
keeping your awareness on the breath as well as all the sounds around you but letting those sounds just be background noise inhale your way back to center remind yourself of your intention your gratitude and then lift yourself up to all fours line up your shoulders over your wrist and your hips over your knees look down at your fingers I like to face my index fingers forward and roll my inside of my elbows to the top of my mat. Start to flow through your cat cows. Inhale as you let the belly dip to the earth, arching your spine. Pull your shoulders back. Lift your gaze up. Exhale, round and curl, pushing down through the knuckles of your hands. Hugging the upper arm bones in, spreading the shoulders across your back, drawing navel up and in, tailbone to the back of your knees. Inhale, magnetize your shoulder blades together, draw your heart forward and up, lift the gaze. Feel your pose through the fullness of your breath. So at the top of the inhale, take another sip. Exhale, rounding curl, and at the bottom of the exhale, really feeling this at the end of the exhale. Make sure you eliminate all the stale air. On your next inhale, either keep moving through your cat cows or start to move more organically around your mat, like circles. You can go all the way back, getting your hips and feet and come all the way forward getting into the wrists. Or you can stay right at the front of the wrists and just circle there. Or you can stay way back in your hips and just circle there. So wherever you are, reverse your direction. Inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Either closing your eyes or resting the gaze beyond the tip of your nose on something very small, laser beam focus. Allowing your breath and movement to be one. Bringing it back to neutral, dial your fingertips back towards your knees. Draw the shoulders back, find movement or stillness. If you're cultivating stillness, start to activate some bandhas, your mula bandha, the space between your sit bones, draw it in and up. Uddiyana bandha, the lifting of the belly and the wrapping in of the ribs, just like you are tying up a corset around your waist. We'll bring the knees a little closer and the ankles to touch and then sit all the way back on our heels. Reaching back for your little pinky toe. Good. Sitting up nice and tall, tailbone down, belly back, ribs in. Sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Keep your arms right by your ears. Bring your thumb in, wrap your fingers around your thumb and roll around your wrist for five, four, three, two, and one. And reverse it for five, four, three, two, and one. Separate the hands, lift your gaze up, reach back, stretching the front of your body, but lifting up out at the low back. On an exhale, bring your arms down, shoulder height, and then take your right arm over to the left. Left elbow hugs it. Look over your right shoulder, take a breath here. Look over your left shoulder. Bring your gaze center and rock your right ear to your right shoulder and left ear, left shoulder. Know where you need to linger, maybe some circles. Do some exploring. Inhale the arms open and exhale the left arm to the right. 
same thing here. Look over your left shoulder. Look over your right. Rock your ears right and left. Make circles, explore. Inhale, open up. Interlace your fingers, make a fist with your hands. Don't worry, your toes won't fall off. Palms press. Now notice here, the low back will crash if you don't pull the belly in and wrap the ribs in, activating your bondas. So we don't wanna put pressure on the spine, we just activate the bondas. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. And exhale as slowly as you can. Bring your hands back down, lift up your feet, give it a little tap or roll your ankles or just place the tops of your feet down and observe. Flipping the palms up, fingertips face each other or your knees, or you do one at a time. You can make circles, you can cultivate stillness. You can move forward and back, moving forward takes you out of that tension, moving back, you feel the tension. We'll bring the knees a little closer. Sit all the way back on our heels. Sweep with the arms out and up. Look up. Keep your thumb out. Open and close your hands for five, four. Go a little faster. Three, two, and one. Interlace your fingers. Take your hands behind your head. Let your head comfortably rest in the hands. As the elbows get heavy, the shoulder blades kiss. Squeeze the knees together. Inhale, pull the belly in. Stay there or lift one knee at a time or see if you can lift both knees. Lowering the knees if you lifted them and taking a twist to the right, release your hands, right hand behind you, left hand on the right knee. Inhale, reach up and look forward. Exhale, hands behind the head and twist to the left. Open up your arms, take the right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Chin off your chest, gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale with the arms up, gaze is forward. Exhale, circle the arms around and bring your hands back to the mat. Pick up your feet and tuck your toes, preparing for downward facing dog. So look at your hands, make sure they're shoulder distance or a little bit wider, not closer. Index finger face forward or your middle finger. Press down, grip the mat, float your knee. Lift your belly to support the spine. Wrap the ribs in to protect the spine. Take a breath here. Send your belly to your thighs. Let the gaze go back towards your feet, ears by your biceps. Grip the mat and push away. Get longer through the sides of the waist. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. If you want to open up your knees, send your hips back a little more. You have five, four, three, two, on one. You'll bring your knees back aligned if they're not and send your hips skyward. Heels are high. Start to pedal out your heels, left, right, left, right. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Heels root towards the earth. If they don't touch, keep a soft bend in your knees. Gripping your mat. Bend your elbows out wide. Down dog push up. Five. Four. Don't change the shape. Three. Two and one. 
inhale the heels lift your gaze goes up in between your hands your navel goes up into the spine and you you step your right foot forward inhale belly to spine lift the right heel float the left foot forward inhale root to rise and float it forward inhale exhale one more all the way up between your hands two fist distance soft knees grab a hold of opposite elbows shake your head out no and yes if it feels appropriate sway side to side bending your knees shaking the head the shoulders your hips just feeling your way through the pose, feeling the grounding of your feet, all four corners. On your next inhale, we're going to ragdoll our way up to standing, belly in, inhaling, soft knees at the top. Exhale, roll your shoulders back and down, fingertips towards the earth. Take a moment here. Lift all ten toes, and if you want look down at your toes and place each toe down with space between the best you can feel your kneecaps lift your thighs engage tailbone lengthen down not in or out belly in and up heart forward and up Shoulders back and down. Chin parallel to the mat. Crown of the head floating skyward. On an inhale, start at the bottom with your feet. Feel the earth and rise above it as you sweep the arms up to the sky. Lift your gaze and find a back bend for five breaths. One. Let's start at the ground, your feet, lift the knees, engage your thighs, lengthen the tailbone, lift your belly and heart. Four. Energize your fingers, arms are long, biceps by your ears to protect the neck, no wrinkles in the back of your neck. Three. Four. One more. On your next inhale, bring your gaze forward, soften the knees, and find a forward fold. Bringing it all the way down, hands to the earth, or hands to the back of the ankles. On an inhale, halfway lift. Soften the knees as much as you need to to find length in the spine. As you exhale, try to straighten out your legs the best you can. Tuck your chin to your chest. Pull your navel to your spine. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and this time pause. Take another little sip at the top. Open up your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Soften your knees, place your hands down, step it back into your first high plank pose. Wrap the elbows in. Shift the weight over your wrist, lift your thighs, lift your belly, spread the shoulders. Nice. Take a breath in here, shift the weight a little more, hug the elbows in a little more. Lower halfway with or without your knees. Inhale, cobra of your choice. Magnetize your hands to your hips, look over your right shoulder, inhale. Look over your left shoulder, inhale. And 
look center and up. And on an exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee to nose. We'll do this three times. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, this time, right foot steps up between your hands. Feet are hip bone distance apart. Take a full breath in, hug the outer right hip back, firm up the back leg, feel the thigh lifting skyward. On an inhale, sweep with the arms out and up, finding a high crescent pose. Biceps by your ears the entire time. Don't let your head drop back so far that you have a bunch of wrinkles in your neck and you're creating tension. Try to reach up through your fingertips. Try to pull the ribcage out of the waist. Relax your jaw. Slightly bring your gaze forward. If it's not, your right hand will grab a hold of your left wrist and gently stretch to the side, to the right. If you want more, lower that left heel. Do your best to keep your right knee over your left, your right knee over your right ankle. Inhale, rise up, switch your grip. Over to the left. Inhale, rise up. Arms lift and that back heel lifts. You come halfway down. Inhale, stretch it to the right. Inhale, very slowly back to center, very slowly over to the left. Start to pivot your left heel flat, open up your arms, find warrior two. And then we'll pump our warrior three times to fine tune it. Inhale, arms up, legs straight. Exhale, warrior two. Look down at the inside of the right knee, make sure you can see your right big toe. Inhale, lift the arm. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, last one. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your right palm, reach with the right hand forward, and exhale, exalt, peaceful warrior. Take your left hand to the right rib cage, and as you inhale, feel the right rib cage lifting up and out of your waist. Feel the gripping of the feet on your mat and rise everywhere else. Bring it up, warrior two. It's a side angle, your parsval kanasana. Right forearm to the inner right leg or right arm out, bicep by your ear. Strong root down in both your feet as you straighten out your right leg. Open up the arms, lift your right toes. Bend your left knee. Find runner stretch. Lowering the left butt cheek towards your left heel. Take a breath in here. Open up, spread your wings. Make sure your right toes are Lifted, make sure your right thigh is engaged and externally rotated. Hands to the heart, hands to the earth. Rise back up, wide leg fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Walk the hands back between the legs. Bring your chin towards your chest, sit bones to the sky. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. You're gonna keep your left hand down and stretch with your right arm to the right. Take a deep breath in, lean full or lean onto that right leg and lift your left leg up. 
hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the left foot, lower your right hand, lift your left arm up, twist, firm your thighs, root with the right hand to reach a little more with your left, and on an exhale, thread the needle. Left hand grabs right foot, ankle, or leg. Right hand to the sky if you like, or half bind. Or maybe the right arm threads through and grabs the left leg. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bringing it back to neutral, rocking side to side. Bring it back around to a right side lunge. And then a three-legged dog. And then walk one hand back at a time to a standing split, left foot grounds, maybe left hand to the back of your left ankle, maybe both hands to the ankle. On your next inhale, we're gonna bend the right knee, move the right knee to the right, and then extend the right toes to the right. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the right knee and left knee to me, and then kick your right foot back, supported warrior three. Soften your left knee, push down and away from the earth, bring your hands to your heart. Warrior three, stretch the arms back. And then as slowly as you can, rise up nice and tall, right knee up. Sweep with your arms up, inhale. And exhale, cross right knee over left, right elbow under left. Ganyarasana, eagle arms. Fix your gaze, conscious breathing, and bandha. Gently guide your knees a little bit to the right to pull your right hip back a little. On an inhale, we're going to keep the arms. We're going to release the right foot back and find a warrior three with our eagle arms. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering the hands back down, one at a time. Walk it back out, three-legged down dog. And then right hip stacks on top of the left. Flip your dog. Lower your right foot behind the left leg. Sweep with the right arm up and over your head. Bring your right arm up. Soften your left knee, pick your right knee up, cross right knee over your left again. And then we'll take the right hand down, pivot the toe, left toes to the left. Right leg, so cross on left. Hooking it if it's possible. We're going to slowly meet in a high plank pose. Inhaling, exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra. Ah. When I get to this pose, I feel like I'm at home. That's how I feel when I give my husband a hug, too. <laughs> Gratitude. 
pull the belly in, lift up the hips, downward facing dog. Mm. Take a few breaths here, maybe about 10. So if you have a practice where you like to do headstands or handstands or forearm stands, take it now. Making the pose more active or you can bring it down a notch and come into child's pose. And really connect with your breath and a sense of letting go and a sense of gratitude. For me, you have about five more breaths. I'm gonna practice that funky forearm. So here's my forearms. I'm gonna take my right hand right about where my right elbow was, I'm really gripping the mat. Lift up and lift one leg. And just play with the idea of maybe lifting the other leg. So if you're not already, start to make your way back to downward facing dog. Hmm. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the left foot all the way up between your hands. And take a few moments. Find your stability, your foundation. Left knee over the ankle. Right heel over the toes. Rise up, find your crescent. Fix your gaze. Conscious breathing. Relax face and jaw. And find your bandhas. Ula bandha, Uriyana bandha. You should feel a really big stretch in the front of that right hip. Inhale, bring the gaze forward. Take your left hand to grab a hold of the right wrist. Pull up on the right wrist and side bend to the left, finding space out of the right hip joint. Inhale, rising up, and exhale to the other side. Inhale, back up, exhale, halfway belly almost parallel to the earth and then take a stretch to the left. Inhale, slowly making your way back to center, slowly making your way to the right, turning your right foot flat, opening up to warrior two. We'll take three pumping warriors to fine tune our pose. Inhale, the legs engage, the belly and heart lift. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling the fullness of your breath. Exhale. As well as the emptiness, the contraction, the tightness of the front body. Inhale. And exhale. Peaceful warrior. Reach forward and up with the left hand. Keep moving left knee forward. Take right hand to left rib cage. And with your breath, feel the left rib cage moving out of the waist.
bring it back warrior two to a side angle bicep by your ear maybe left arm both biceps by your ears keeping that left knee over your left ankle keeping the back inner arch lifted so the leg is strongly engaged slowly as you rise up lift your left toes pivot your toes in lift the toes back up bend the right knee and find runners stretch lowering your seat all the way down to the right heel or a block inhale with the right fingertips to the right and left arm up unless you need that left hand to support you from falling over hmm. one more breath here make sure the legs engaged and externally rotated hands to the heart slowly lift yourself up We're gonna press down with the right hand and float the left hand, no, left hand down, float right hand to the right. Lean right, lift left heel, and lift left leg. Take a deep breath in for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the left hand, or left foot, lower your right hand, and sweep up with the left. Take a breath in here. On the exhale, thread it through. Left hand grabs foot, ankle, or leg. Right arm to hip or side. Or thread it through to grab left foot or ankle. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. releasing slowly bending your knees left and right a few times and then bringing it all the way back around to a left side lunge to a three legged downward facing dog walking your hands back to that right foot and catch a standing split. Bringing both hands down onto the ground if they're not already bending the left knee, moving left knee over to the left and then extending left foot to the left for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in, bring both knees in to meet each other. Lift up to the fingertips, kick the left leg back out, supported warrior three. Soften the right knee, push away from the earth, hands to the heart. Stretch with the arms back for five, four, three, two, and one slowly bring the left knee up reach your arms up inhale and exhale eagle wrap left elbow under right left knee over right lift the elbows move your knees to the left a little pull your belly back and your tailbone down fix your gaze for five four, three, two, and one. You're gonna keep the arms, lift the left knee, and find warrior three with your eagle arms. For five, four, three, two, hands back down, walk it out, three-legged dog, open up the hip. Ooh. Stay or flip. Lift the heart, lift the hips. Slowly pick up your left foot, 
across the left knee over right. Take a breath here. You're going to place the left hand down. Spin your right toes to the right. And lift the right arm. You find a shape. The leg doesn't have to cross all the way over. The foot doesn't have to hook. But feel something yummy in that right hip. Oh, it feels so good. And then slowly back to high plank. Inhale. Exhale, low push up. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. You have another five to ten breaths. So you can make it passive, child's pose, more active, down dog or even more active, headstand, handstand, and forearm stand. I'm gonna do that funky forearm stand, but this time I'm gonna keep my right forearm down, gripping, and my left hand down, which is not my stronger side, but just to create some balance. Lift the knees. If this is the, if this is all, the only place I go today, it's good enough. And then you'll lift one leg, and float, tap. Maybe it lifts, maybe it doesn't. Just a few more breaths. Feeling gratitude for the ability to move our bodies, to move right to left and bend over and touch our toes when you're ready meet me back in downward facing duck and inhale lift your right leg up and step your right foot up between the hands lower your left knee and find a half split pose or maybe full split. Maybe your full split, your leg doesn't come all the way down and you place a block under there. Don't force it. Focus on your breath. Focus on sending breath to the areas in your body in which you feel. And as you exhale, find acceptance. Find a sense of letting go. If you're in that full, not so full split like me, take your left hand and grab a hold of your right wrist. This is gonna encourage that right hip to move back and your left thigh bone to melt down and forward. So if you were almost in a full split, you might be there now. Just one more breath. When you're ready, we're gonna bend the knee Keep the back foot down, rise up for a low crescent, and then a twist. Reach the right arm back, left arm forward. Reach forward with that left hand to the inside or outside of your right foot. Reach up with your right hand, take a breath here. Lower the hand, and you're gonna pivot to the right, bringing your right knee directly on top of your left. And then we'll go for a little shoulder stretch. So your right arm will lift, your left hand will reach out, palm facing away from you, and then coming to your back. 
your palm is facing away from the back. Right hand will reach down to grab your left hand. Take a breath in, draw the ribs in and down, belly in and up. We'll hold it here for 30 to 45 seconds. If you need longer, some people hold this for 10 minutes. Hold it longer. Hit the pause button. Try to cultivate stillness. Connect to a sense of calm. to slowly release, reaching the arms up, rolling around the wrist a few times, opening and closing your hands a few times, thumb and fingers around the wrist, roll it there a few times, reverse it. All of this little movements that we do is to help protect our wrist and strengthen our forearms for all our planks and down dogs. We're gonna come to pigeon at the back of your mat, the right knee. So you bring your right knee towards the right corner and stretch with your left leg back. And we'll hold it here for a minute. Some of you might hold it longer. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. One more deep breath in. Long, slow exhale out. And then we're gonna lift ourselves up. We're gonna swing the left leg around. Left foot will go straight. Right foot will cross over the left leg. Left elbow will hug the right knee or your right elbow will hook behind the right thigh. Keep your chin off your chest. Dip your ears back a little. Bring it back to center. Take your right foot in, slide your left heel in. Take your right foot in the crease of the elbow and your right knee in the crease of the right elbow. Rock it side to side. If that doesn't work for you, bring your elbows underneath the leg. This is just the beginning of the pose and you can stay right here or you can take that right knee, move it back a few times, get it back there and then Hoist it over the right shoulder. Ah, that feels good. Left hand on top of the right foot for sundial pose. You can, even if you're here and you're like, oh, I almost got it. It's good. Breathe. Focus. Try to connect to a sense of ease. Or maybe you're able to kick the foot out a little more. And then... Still, stay where you are in the pose or continue to move. If you want to continue to move, pick your left foot up, hook it over your right foot. Bring your hands like your Chaturanga arm. Lean forward, lift your butt, and extend your legs to the right. Hold for five, for four, three, two, and one. And come back in and find boat pose for five, four, three, two, and one. Cross at your ankles, take your hands by your side, lift your butt up, bring your hands in front of you, 
float it back, low push up to a cobra pose. Exhale to downward facing dog. And then your left leg lifts and your left foot steps between your hands. Lowering the back knee for your half or full split. Feeling the outer left hip shape back. The front of the right hip and thigh melting down and full. Feel yourself elevating, not sinking, but grounding. Feel this grounding force to elevate you even more. Stay where you are or take your left hand, right hand to the left wrist. Give it a pull. Look over your left shoulder. Ooh. One more breath. We're going to slowly lift up out of the hips, bending the left knee, reaching with the arms up. And then opening for that twist. Reaching with your right hand to the inside or outside of the left foot. Lifting up with the left arm. Oh. Lowering your hands and coming to your Gomukhasana legs. Left knee on top of right this time. Left arm up. Right arm out. Left arm down, right arm up and back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Feel your spine lengthen, and the exhales feel your sit bones grounding. Inhale with the arms up, coming to pigeon on the left side. Left knee to the top of the mat. Right leg back. One minute here. Notice if you're gritting your teeth or pressing your lips together. Try to relax. Notice if your 10 pound head is hanging below your shoulders, try to get it somewhere right in the middle. We'll slowly come up, take the right leg forward and your left foot over the right. Right arm hugs or elbow presses. Chin lifts, ears slightly dip up. Bringing it back to center, taking the right foot to the pubic bone 
and then your left foot to the crease of the elbow, left knee to the crease of the elbow, or if that's just not available yet, your arms under the shin. You can rock it side to side. Stay where you are. If you went further, sundial, left knee up and over the shoulder. And then kick your left foot into your right hand and stay there or find your inversion hands come down right foot on top of left hands grip the mat lean forward lift your hips send your legs to the left for five four three two and one bow pose for five, four, three, two. Reach with the arms up, lower your feet, tap your heels down and up for five, four, three. <laughs> My legs feel like they're a thousand pounds. Two, one more, one more. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, stretch it forward. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. If you have a strap and you can't reach your toes, I encourage you to grab a strap. It's not about reaching for your toes. It's about having something to pull your shoulders back, belly in, and heart forward. So we're hinging from the hip. Sending the hips back and the heart to the toes. Take one more breath here. And on your next inhale, slowly roll up and slowly roll yourself all the way down. Relaxing your arms by your side. Allowing all our standing poses to soak in. Relax your face and jaw. Feel gratitude in your heart. Remembering the person, the place, the experience, the animal, wherever that extreme gratitude lies. And then we'll move into bridge pose from here. Bend your knees, feet are flat, feet are hip bone distance apart. Heels are close to your butt, or if you have anything going on in your low back, scoot your feet a little away from your butt. Bring your arms by your side, palms down. Take a breath in, press your spine into the mat. On an exhale, press down and in with your feet, engaging your inner thigh muscles. Peel your spine away from the mat. Option to keep your hands where they are. Option to interlace your fingers, chin off the chest. Imagine an orange between chin and chest the entire time. Option to reach your arms back, palms face up. Press down and in with your feet. Keep checking in. You're squeezing inner legs, not just the glutes. Final option would be your full wheel. Press down, fingertips face your feet. On an inhale, rise up. Notice if your toes went out, can you pull them back in? Feel your body pushing away from the earth, not sinking down into the joints of the wrists and ankles. And just when you want to get out of the pose, that's when you take one more deep breath in, deep breath out, and then we'll lower all the way down to 
to dead bug pose with an inhale and with ease and grace. Start to roll around your wrists and your ankles. Notice every little bit of what you're feeling. Focus on it. Breathe into it. Watch it fade on the exhale. Place your left foot down. Walk your hands at the back of your right leg for a gentle hamstring stretch. Keep the leg nice and straight. So if you want to take your hand just below the knee and push your right thigh away. And with your left hand, wherever you can grab, pull the right leg. So there's a push and a pull to intensify the stretch in the back of the leg and to keep the front of the leg nice and strong. If you want more, send your left foot to the top of your mat. We're going to take the right thumb in the right hip crease to keep the right thigh off the belly. Take your left hand anywhere on the outside of the right leg. If you can reach the right foot, grab the right foot, but it's not a part of the pose. My limbs just happen to be longer, so it makes it easier for me, but it's not necessary. I'm using this hand, not too much force, but enough, enough, just to move the thigh off my belly. So it's the same thing I, as I was pushing and pulling. I'm still pushing and pulling to create the stretch in the back of the leg and the strength in the front. And a really big stretch on my IT bed. Ooh. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Right hand on the right leg. So the foot's more relaxed in this pose. Leg is more relaxed. Left hand relaxed on top of the left hip. Not to force the left hip down, but just to know when the left hip rises, the right leg went far enough. And then you're gonna sweep the right leg across the floor as if you were sweeping away the dust to meet your left leg. And then pause, observe. Observe the right side of the body and the left. Notice how the right feels longer. Thank you, yoga. Place your right foot down and lift your left leg up. Walk your hands up the left leg. Grab wherever you can. Left hand, push it. Right hand, pulse. Or you can do it the other way, actually, yeah. Right hand pushes, left hand pulse. And if you want more, send your right leg to the top of the mat. And then we'll switch. We'll take the right arm up and the left thumb to the left hip crease. Still that pull with the right, push with the left sensation to create balance. So we're working both strength and flexibility equally to maximize the benefit. Now for some reason, I'm feeling it in my inner left groin, which is my healthy one. So I'm gonna back off a little. You don't wanna feel it in the groin. If you do, back off a little. Go ahead and switch left leg, left foot, ankle or leg, right hand, right hip mm, so good
and then your left leg will sweep your floor to meet your right. Take a moment to observe. Bring just your right knee in, and with your left hand, knee down twist. Reach your right arm to the right, right knee to the left. If you had a choice to push down right shoulder, right knee, choose right shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your right knee to your right shoulder and then your left knee to your left shoulder. Flex your feet. Bring the knees in. Stretch your right leg forward and out. And then right hand guides left knee to the right. Left shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Left knee, left shoulder. Right knee, right shoulder. Hands to the outer edges of your feet. Happy baby. If this is not accessible, take your hands to the inner arches. Try to keep your knees close in this one. And then we'll start to close everything up. Right knee over left. Pause here for five. For four. For three. For two. For one. Switch. Left over right. For five. For four. For three. For two, and one. Bring both knees in. Lift up your head, neck, and shoulders. Give yourself a big hug. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place your right hand on top of your left. Orange under the chin. And pulse it up for 20. One, two. Exhale. Exhale. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right hand under. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest your head, relax your arms. Take a deep breath in. Open up your mouth, send your feet out to each corners of your mat. Ah, let it go. Final pose. The most important one out of all of them that we do. Arms comfortably away from the body. Palms up. Rock your ears right and left. Make sure you're not holding on or creating any tension. Create space between your lips. Relax your jaw. Tongue away from the roof of your mouth and start to notice your body. From your toes, make sure everything's relaxed. Up your legs, make sure the butt's relaxed. Notice how the fingers naturally curl in. Don't force them open. Thank you for joining me. 
Namaste.